What's up everyone, welcome back. I know you guys might be thinking, who is this guy? I don't know him. Just a bit of change? Doesn't matter, I guess. Okay, so most of you guys had uh, complaints about the audio for one video I uploaded that was how to control your Raspberry Pi from Android and use it as a monitor. So I remade it from scratch. Also, pardon me for taking so long. I was really busy with some projects. So without making further ado, let's get into it. Alright people, so let's start, download these all three applications, links down in the description and open up the Fing application and tap on refresh icon, let's scan the network for the host and uh, from here we'll get the IP address as we can see on the screen, again the most important thing, your Pi and your phone should be on the same network, so we'll copy this from here, get back and open the second application named Tomius. Now tap on plus icon and the new host. In the alias name you can give any random name to your Pi. I'll just give Pi3. In the host name we have to enter the IP address. So that goes there. Tap on right icon and Pi3. And now de determining the connection type we'll use uh, SSH connection. So the username and the password will be as same as your operating system has. So in my case the default one because I have loaded the Kali operating system. Requesting fingerprint just click on connect and then the password is 2 and it says connected we are in the CLI mode of the Kali again to uh, get the GUI mode we need to download a tight VNC package so just a couple of commands follow them or just copy from the description it goes like a sudo apt hyphen get install T-I-G-H-T VNC server that's tight VNC server and hit enter this this will uh, just download it and uh, get your system ready so it's done now we'll enter the SU mode because sometimes it causes error so it's better to be in SU mode again now we'll check the file so just write down T-I-G-H-T VNC server so that's now up and running so now we need to create a shell file just uh, type in nano and uh, just two lines of code we'll write down you can just copy it from the description that goes like hash that's And that's done so just uh, press ctrl and O and give our name to your file I'll just write vnc.sh and hit enter that says 0 two lines we are done just get out pressing ctrl and X so now we need to make the that file executable so just type in sudo and uh, chmod that's change mode plus X and the file name which was vnc.sh and hit enter so that's done pretty much thing has happened right here so just get back here and open up the third application named vnc viewer now the last application again tap on plus icon and uh, paste the IP address with the port number we mentioned in the vnc file again give it a random name and say create and again connect it says an encrypted connection so no problem tap on ok and the password the password will be entered same as the password which was uh, used by you while installing the tight vnc package first time you'll run the tight vnc package it will prompt you for a password so just mention the same password there uh, i think i wrote it one two three four five six and just hit on continue then and we are right here 
Kali desktop came right in front of us. GUI is there. We can access each and every application from here. We can access the terminal. We can do pretty much anything we can do on the live system in front of the screen. So that was it. Make sure you leave your comments down below if you're facing any problems. And also check out my links to uh, my website, my Facebook page or Instagram if you want to have a glance on. All the links they mentioned down below and I'll see you in the next one.